Hey friends, it's Carol Saltbox Stitcher back for video number 51. And I hope everybody's well. It's Saturday the 7th of August. August is here. It'll be Christmas before you know it. Today is my son and his bride's sixth anniversary. He's an engineer, he's into math, so they got married on 8, 7, 15. Do the math. He'll never forget his anniversary day. Anyway, um, video 51. And I do have to say, something happened, and I don't know if I just need to delete the app and reinstall it or what, but um, I pretty much every day check comments. I try to answer the ones that I can. And if I need to like figure something out or you know, research something in order to answer a question, then I try to do that. I at least do a heart um, to let you know that I've read it. And in the last few days, all of a sudden the comments showing up were from like a long time ago. I don't, I don't know what happened. I was watching Nisi Lynn last night and she had had the same problem. So maybe that's something to do with YouTube. Anyway, I don't see any of my replies or anything, so I apologize. Hopefully you got that reply or that recognition that I read it prior to all that goofiness. So anyway, this week I said, you know, I sit and I think, okay, what am I going to talk about? And then somehow when the time comes, I've accumulated enough stuff around me that I do have something to talk about. But I was kind of all over the place with my stitching. I did do some piecing and I actually quilted one of my own quilts and I'll show you that. I did some applique. So um, for those of you who aren't interested in the quilting, I'll do the cross stitch first and then I will show you some of the quilting. So if you want to exit the premises, you're certainly welcome to do that. So anyway, another thing I was looking at with some of the analytics that um, YouTube provides that over a third of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So I would I would encourage everybody to subscribe. And if you like my videos, then ring the little bell for notifications and then you'll know when I do a new one. Generally, I do one every two weeks, but coming up in September when I have a retreat and coming up in October, I have another retreat. I'm, you know, I may not be on schedule, so to speak. So anyway. Um, the very first thing I'm going to say, because somehow whatever I have on this easel is always the question of the day. I just took down the, the patriotic one, but this, I get more questions about this piece than any other question. So here it is. <laughs> this is Liberty House by With Thy Needle and Thread. I did this a few years back. I changed the red that it calls for to um, schoolhouse red because whatever it called for was a little bit orangey. Whatever it called for in the flag I left, but the house I changed to schoolhouse red. Liberty House by With Thy Needle and Thread. If your LNS does not have it, go to Brenda's direct um, online store Brenda, meaning with thy, needle and with thy Needle and Thread, also known as Brenda Gervais. Go to countrystitchesonline.com. I'll have my husband put that in the description box. Countrystitchesonline, one word, dot com. So, hopefully <laughs> that will answer all those multiple questions that I get. And some of them were like right after the other one. So if they'd looked at the replies, but maybe people don't do that. I don't always look at other people's comments when I make a comment on, on YouTube. So anyway, um, I think next I'm going to show you what I've been stitching the last couple weeks. And then I'm going to show you my fall things that I have finished hanging around the house. And I'm just starting to get fall out. I generally don't decorate for fall until September because it's still sometimes hot as Hades here in, in August in um, Florida and it doesn't necessarily bring cool weather when I 
redecorate. I'm not sure why. <laughs> you would think it would, but it doesn't. Although this year, so far, we've had some really hot days, but so far, we have not had like a long streak of over 100. So hopefully prayers it won't happen because... I don't mind hot weather, but when it gets to be over 100 and it's humid and it feels like you're taking a shower every time you walk outside in your own sweat, <laughs> not fun. Glisten, makes you glisten, not sweat, glisten. So anyway, what have I been stitching? Let me grab this pile. And then I'll, I started to say I'm going to um, show you fall things that are finished. I'm going to show you some fall things, more fall patterns that I want to stitch. And then I'll show quilting. So I don't have any wool to show this time. I wish I did, but I don't. So anyway. So last time, no, I thought I had it right on top. It doesn't take much for me to be nutty. Hold, please. Okay, last time I showed you some Blackbird Smalls that I don't have FFO'd yet, but um, one of them was a bag. Can't remember the name of it. Anyway, it's in the Sewing Club book. And I had it almost finished, and I went ahead and finished it. This is on Velt, 36 count Velt. It was a kit originally that I got when I went to Country Sampler, uh, let's see, spring or fall? Fall, I think it was fall retreat in um, Spring Green, Wisconsin with Barb from Blackbird. Alma wasn't there, but this was one of the kits that we got. It's on 36 count belt with the called for colors. There's more of the true color, it's more of a green. So anyway, I finished that. I had a little bit left to do on that uh, on my last video, so I finished that one. I didn't bring the pattern because, well, I didn't. And then I thought, you know, all of those pieces that we got at that retreat, there was a drum, there was that, which will become a bag, like a little drawstring bag. You could put your, you know, scissors and your glasses and your pack of needles or whatever. I don't need to tell you what to put, put in the bag, whatever you want to put in the bag, but your makeup for all I care. Anyway, it came with um, the cotton fabric for the inside of the bag. So we got uh, the drum, which I finished. I showed you that last time and that. And then the third piece we got, I don't think there was any others, but the third piece we got Y'all know how much I love over one stitching. Was this piece that fit on the little matchbox. Now I showed you the matchbox when I did the tribute to Barb. We had painted the big heart box brown and then this was on the matchbox. This also is in the um, sewing club book. It has the same colors, so the drum, this, and that bag are all in the same colors. And they're all done on 36 count velt, with the exception of, oh, but I, I just had it. Oh, me and mine, is it gonna be one of those days? Hopefully not. Did it draw? Okay. This is craziness. I, oh, it did drop. Okay. I'm not crazy. I'm just clumsy. <laughs> okay. So this is on 20 out, 28 count Lugana in the color Velt from Picture This Plus. All of these are from Picture This Plus and all of them are Velt. So I decided, just bite the bullet, Carol. Be a grown-up, hashtag mature, and just do this. Over one stitching, I can do it. And someday I'll 
show you how I do it. It's really hard to describe, but I'd have to have a whiteboard. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just tedious and it takes a long time. Now I did not use a hoop for this or a hoop, however you say it, hoop, hoop. But it, this was like two nights. So that'd be like 10 or 12 hours of stitching. That's crazy. But anyway, I do want to finish it. On the top, there's some, there's more border that goes around it. Well, I'll show you the pattern again. So there's some birds. You know, I'm probably close to being half finished once I finish the house. Again, 28 count Lugana dyed in the color Velt by Picture This Plus. So that is that. So then I was like, okay, this is taking too much time. I'm just gonna have to intersperse that a few nights here and there to finish that because I, I can't handle taking a whole week to finish a little piece that goes on a matchbox that's this big. It was a wooden matchbox. You have to go back to, I think it's video 49. The one I did a tribute to Barb. So then I decided, okay, what am I gonna pick up next? And it's really bugging me how many whips I have. If I left this world tomorrow, my daughter would come in and think that I have absolutely lost my marbles. My husband already knows that, so that's no surprise to him. But um, I have to get some of these whips finished just because I want them finished. And then at some point I'll get them framed. But anyway, I picked up this one. Somebody had stitched this because they'd seen me show it because this has been a whip for a while. This is a Mind Independent and Free by Carriage House. It's a big one. It's um, 99 wide, not bad, by 549 high. So it's a big, long one. And um, I really like it. I think I was down to, let's see, about here. I think I had done like the first line of the words. And now I am pretty close to a finish. It's really long, so it's hard to show all at once. But <laughs> so I'm down to where I just have that last or basket or tree or whatever it is. It's just like this. It mirrors this down here, the same one. And then there's a couple butterflies. And then there's a little bit more stitching on the bottom. So let's see, this was a piece 30, probably 36. I always used to measure a yard like this. So it's pretty much almost 36 inches. And I know it's sideways. I know it's sideways. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you a perspective of how big it is. So it has the alphabet some Bargello kind of stitching. It says, no, oops, I guess I'm showing it to you backwards. Anyway, no glory I covet, no riches. I want ambition and beauty are nothing to me. The one thing I beg of good heaven to grant is a mind independent and free. Mary Beth Marsh is my name and with my needle, I work the same. Has the house and then it says this work complete January 26, 1824. So there it is. Anyway, so I, I'm within a couple days of finishing that. So why did I put it down? I don't know, <laughs> but I will finish this. This is like on top of the pile of things I wanna finish quickly. And that is done on 40 count. Um, actually put the tag inside the 40 count Vintage Exemplar by Lakeside Linens. Vintage Exemplar. So that is Mind Independent and Free. I worked a lot on that. And then, oh, and the colors for that. I'm using NPIs. There's only one, two, three, four, five colors of NPIs. 
And I'm just about running out of a couple of them. So. So that is that. And then I kind of got a hankering. <laughs> I don't know that that's Southern, but anyway, it means I'm having desire <laughs> to stitch, work on a sampler. Now, I have plenty of sampler whips, plenty. But I went through, um, I think it was Christy from Daisy Case Primitives, and she was gonna start, or had started a scarlet letter piece. And I have a number, not a lot, but I have a number of um, scarlet letter pieces that are kitted. And so I decided to pull one out. Now, I don't always use, well, let me just say that. I have, I don't use the linen that usually comes with it. I wish she had an option where you could just get the chart and the threads. But anyway, and what did I pick when I went through my scarlet letter? Is Jane Atkinson and Yvette is stitching this. It's If you look at her Instagram today, Yvette Go. I think her name is Yvette Gonzalez, but anyway, it's Yvette Go. And she, I think she has, she has part of the words done. So she has like this top half done. Well, I got going on this and it was like, I am loving this. Absolutely loving this. Now I don't have a whole lot done, but I have enough to show you. This is a start from the upper left corner. So it's just a small portion right in here of the hole, but I love this. This is one I want on my wall. Love it, love it, love it. Just gorgeous. So I'm starting this flower right here has some pink in it. Oops, it's hard to see. This is a regular photograph. It's not in plastic, just like a regular photograph. So see that right there. That's where I'm starting. So this I will definitely get back to. I'm doing this on 40 count lentil. Did I say that already? By Lakeside Linens. It's not vintage. And I am using Hold, please. I think, I think Stephanie first said hold, please. I think we ought to give her credit for that because that was genius. I'm using the called for Avera Soie silks. It's hard to show these when they're in the bags. Pinks, reds, greens, just fabulous. So that took my attention for more than just one or two days. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the one that I'm doing for the Matchbox, it's the Blackbird. Threads that I have kitted for the Sewing Club book, because I try to kit. If there's gonna be multiple projects I wanna do in a book, then I, um, I like to kit them all on one floss ring, because then you don't have to go searching each time you wanna do a project. You just have to find the right linen. And then, <clears throat> because it's Blackbird weekend and because I'm kind of starting to want to stitch fall, although I'm telling you, my next video in two weeks is going to be about samplers because I have pulled some that I definitely want to, to work on, not start, well, work on. Um, quite a few of them are ones that I, are my whips. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in September, sampler September. I'm either going to do one week on each one, pick four and do one week on each one, or just concentrate on one and try to finish it during the month of September. I don't know. Seems like I worked on something else besides this next one I'm gonna show you. So though, then, since it's um, Blackbird Weekend, I decided to pull this one out. This is Raven Bewitched by Blackbird. This one came out, oh, it doesn't really have a date. I was hoping it did. 
Oh yeah, 2011. I don't know if this is available or not. I have no idea. Somebody showed it recently. I want to say it was, um, is it Karen from Fox and Rabbit? You have to watch their videos. They're very good. Anyway, Raven Bewitched. I pulled that out and started this last night. And this is where I am on this. Not, I think this is a piece of Dixie Sampler fabric, but I'm not sure it was in the right bag. And it was called oh, Chestnut or something like that. It's kind of a greenish tan. So I have the word bewitched and I tell you, mark my words, I love doing these kind of stars. They're called a Lemoyne star if you're um, quilting. They're an eight form of an eight pointed star. But every time I see them in a um, cross stitch, I just love doing them. They're very fun. And each one of them for the most part is done in two colors. So like this one, I've done the one color. I need to go back and do the four points from the other color. And I started on the bird. So, and here's the colors for that. It only takes, um, they're all gentle art, three, four. No, there's a classic color works. It takes eight colors, but they have that kind of, it's a little bit of red. So that's my progress. So what do I want to stitch? Um, I got out a few more things. I got a kick out of Christy Crosshatch Quilts. She did her, I watched her video and she talked about um, her dreams, <laughs> plans and her dreams. I think a lot of these are dreams for me. But anyway, this one's called Witch's Brew by Brenda Gervais. Love this. It's a coffee one. She has the spoon up here. I have this kitted with, I believe, the called for, but I don't, not sure. Yeah, I think this is all the called for. It calls for um, 38 count heron gray, which is by Access Commodities. It's not, it's, it's a little bit darker than that. That looks more white. And that's what I have it kitted with. Just a really small piece. Because it's not very big. And 38 counts a nice count to stitch on. If you love 36, you'll like 38. And then I have um, this whip I showed you last time. Again, a blackbird. Kindred Spirits, it's a drum. This might be in Winds of Autumn, I'm not sure. I got it originally as a kit, um, a club kit. And I really wanna get back to this. This is done on Oaken. And it will end up being a drum. I like Oaken, it's kind of a brown touch of gray. It's by Picture This Plus. Blackbird's been using a lot of Picture This Plus in the last few years. So I pulled some other charts that I thought would be fun to, oh, I need to get back to this too, because this, I didn't get any haul in the last two weeks. Can you believe that? No haul, none, zero, zilch, no mail for me. Take that back. I lied. I got the Hobby Lobby box with the box for this casting a spell. So I did get that. And so I want to work on this too. This was the casting a spell. I showed it to you. I think I showed it last week, did I? Or two weeks ago. So there's some not too hard pieces in that that I need to work on. Now, will all of these other ones get done by fall? No. Are they ones that I eventually want to do? Yes. This one is Plum Street. Hello Fall. 
I think I've done one of these series. I think I've done Hello Spring. And that is with the Kitted, which is Stars Hollow Blend by R&R &R with the Kitted fabrics. I mean, with the Kitted threads. I love this piece which is a Plum Street, Jack's Bash. This is very similar to the layout. I think somebody said it's a Rhode Island style sampler. Uh, very similar to the layout she does for the, um, am I holding that right? Yeah. For the um, patriotic ones that, she, that Paulette has done. So this is by Plum Street, Jack's Bash. Um, pull out a couple more of these that I've kitted. This is one I really like, and this one could go past, you know, you could have this into November. It's called Autumn's Fruitful Labor, also by, um, with a needle and thread, Brenda Gervais, and I think Kitten Stitcher did this one, I'm thinking. I think I remember her showing that one, and I had that one kitted. I don't have fabric with, oh yeah, I do have fabric in there. What is the fabric? Probably the called for. Legacy. This isn't Legacy. Oh yeah, it is. Legacy by Picture This Plus. Not Legacy by Access Commodities. Legacy by Picture This Plus. This is another um, Brenda Gervais. Hallow's Eve at Raven's Hollow. That's adorable. The Little Witch and Her Pumpkins. This is one I've always wanted to do. This is the Halloween Sampler by Shakespeare's Peddler. It says, when I'm dead and in my grave and all my bones are rotten, if this you see, pray think of me or I will be forgotten. Love that. That one I have kitted. Um, <laughs> this one, which is Night Out. Brenda Gervais, Paulette, they do wonderful seasonal ones. I have that jack-o'-lantern book on order, but I haven't gotten it yet. That's her newest little pumpkin book, pumpkin, witches, etc. Witches Night Out, also kitted. This is with Mellow, which is kind of... Um, another one is Olga's, I don't have this one kitted, um... Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts, and I think Yvette just finished this. I've loved this forever. It's so cute. There's a lot of the Carriage House, uh, Kathy Barrick uh, stockings, too, that I'd love to do. Um, this is an older one from Bread and Gervais, and there again, you can get this on Country Stitches Online. This one is called Where the Bittersweet Blooms. It's got a black or a crow on a pumpkin with an alphabet all around it. I ordered this last year from her site. I think that's very cute. Here's another one. This has been around for a while too. Hallow, Hallow Day Inn, instead of Holiday Inn, Hallow Day. Also by Brenda Gervais. These aren't kitted adorable. Here's another one. Again, these I got from Country Stitches Online. This one's called Hilda's Alphabet Brew. And it's just a small little pillow with ticking. That's She has multiple ones of this. There's a patriotic one. There's a Christmas one. And then there's this one, which is a fall one. Adorable. Um, this is cute. This is three black eyed Susans. Somebody I am friends with that I know in person <laughs> did this and it was so cute. And I was like, oh, I have to order that pattern. Again, this one is called three black eyed Susans. This is Gardener Goodwitch also by Brenda Gervais. And again, these might have to go to countrystitchesonline.com. And she does periodically close her shop down, which she may do in August 
when it's time for um, the Needlework Expo. Some of these aren't fall. This one's, I love this one. Queen of, Queen of Harvest. And this one, you could definitely leave that one out through Thanksgiving. That one's so cute. You see it? Uh, a couple more. This was a Pineberry Lane kit from Dying to Stitch. I'm not sure if this one's out yet. It's called The Witch's Garden. A lot of these would stitch up pretty fast. Let me see if I can get a better picture. It's hard to get a good picture when it's in plastic. Does that mean I'm taking out the plastic? Mm, no. If I do, there'll be 20 different things all over the place. Here's another Pineberry Lane Gather. This is part of the quaint country ladies through Dying to Stitch. By Pineberry Lane. This is by um, Lori Brecklin, Not Forgotten Farm. Old Witch Mary, Quite Contrary, How Does Your Garden Grow? The name of it is Old Witch Mary. But that one's really cute. Um, one more. This one also is not. This is similar to one that's a patriotic one. That's like Hip Hip Hurrah or something. This one is also by Brenda Gervais. Boo and Ba. Boo and Bobby. Ba B. The sheep carrying the pumpkin cart. Not carrying, pulling the cart. This is really cute. I think I want to kick that one. Okay. Oh, there was one more in here. Who's this? Good question. Oh, this was a free design by the Bay. By the Bay Needle Arts. That's weird because I have it kitted. Oh, well. Not like I kitted it, but like it had fabric and everything in it to finish it. Oh, here's another one. Did I show you this one? This is Plum Street called Autumn Cottage. I think that's cute with that white house and all the pumpkins around it. So those are some dreams, <laughs> as Christy says, plans and dreams. Now I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I have finished. I did not get all the patterns out for these. Normally I do that, but I didn't this time. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I remember the name, I'll tell you. If I don't, I'll tell you I don't know or don't remember. This one is framed. This is Halloween at Hollyberry by Stacy Nash. This one was done on Mink by R&R. &R. And I got a question about what would be a suitable um, substitute fabric. I think it would work good on Dirty by Zweigart. But this I use the called for cottons. I just pulled a few of these. This is Thankful, Grateful, Blessed by Brenda Gervais. A lot of people stitched this last year. I did it a few years back. And it does call for, it's all cottons except for one is a silk. And I did use the white silk. I think it shows up good. I love doing this one. Give me a big old house to, to stitch any day and I'm a happy camper. Um, this one I did finish last year. Last year or this year? I might have finished it right after Christmas, but it's not framed. It's by Plum Street. Gultide, welcome to thee. Love it. Need to get it framed. I used all the called for. I don't know what fabric I used. It's just a neutral. So that one needs to be framed. Um, 
me show you some of the other ones that are smalls. Um, this one's like Scaredy Cat or something like that. It's all laced. I just haven't gotten a frame for it. I want to get a frame that's interchangeable because she did a bunny. She did a snowman. The cat. Is there any others? I can't remember. But anyway, this is Brenda Gervais. Um, with a needle and thread. And I think it's called Scaredy Cat. It's done on Kermit by Picture This Plus, which is a pretty limey green, yellow green with all the called for. That was fun. I stitched part of that when my daughter was in the hospital in 2019, 18. Because, but I, did, I didn't pick it up again for a while. I don't think. Anyway, I just remember doing the fill in this, I can't remember, I think it's called Fall Alphabet, maybe. It's by Scarlet House. I know it's by Scarlet House. It's fun. Another Brenda Gervais. You know, she did this series that have, there's Home, there's, um, I don't know, I, Blessed, I think. Anyway, there's a number of these where they, it spells out a word, but this one's Boo. And I did this one on, um, it's a picture of this plus and it has a little bit of a blue tone with the called for threads. This is another one by Scarlet House, Scaredy Cat maybe. And you can either stitch the eyes or put buttons. No, it's, that's, it's Button Eyed Cat, that's what it is. You can either st stitch the eyes or you can put buttons on it. I stitched them. I think they look more goony. <laughs> I use that October 31st fabric, which I think is cute. That's by Scarlet House. This is another one of Brenda Gervais series. Some of these I just got out of being packed away, so they're a little worse for the wear. But I can't remember. She's one of she's the pumpkin head lady. She's done a series of these. Um, with the people and the whatever they're carrying. But it's Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread. But I can't remember the name of it. Um, this is another <clears throat> Brenda Gervais. I don't think it's called October 31st, but it might be. And some of these I finished, finished them last year. I have so much finishing, fully finishing to do. I was watching um, Lisa Kindred Stitcher. <laughs> she said, I need to dedicate a whole day off. She goes, but I don't want to take one of my days off on vacation to do fully finishing. I, I relate because I just really have to be in the mood. And I've had so much quilting to do for customers lately that it's been crazy. In fact, my back of my arm muscle was so sore from quilting because I don't have a machine that you push a button and it goes. I have a machine. It's the same type of machine. It's a gamble, but I have to drive it myself. So it gets tiring, tiresome. Anyway, this was a gift. And I think this is Little House Needleworks, but I'm not hundred percent sure. We did an ornament exchange one time in one of my stitching groups. That was fun. Um, this is Trick or Treat. This is by Lottie Da. I don't know if that's the name of it. There's another one that I want to do that's similar that says um, something about, I don't remember. This Wicked Witch Comes or something, I can't remember. Anyway, this is, I know it's by Lottie Da. Um, this is by Stacy Nash. It was a kit from Country Sampler. I'm not sure exactly the name of it. There's a couple of them that look similar. There's one that's done in like a tan linen and has, I think, a little kind of an off-white house. And this one's done on gray linen. I just stuffed it with fiber fill. I don't like fiber fill as well as I like uh, sawdust, but... Sawdust. Sawdust is very messy. This is one that I did 
quite a while ago, and this is by The Work Basket. And it's, it's a monthly series. I don't have all of the months, but this one is October. It's a nice little bowl filler. That one is sawdust. Um, this is by Plum Street. I'm not sure the name of it. That's the squirrel. I'm not a fan of squirrels. We had one get in the house one time. I got up at three in the morning to get a glass of water and it ran across my foot. It ran across my foot. I was screaming. My son still lived at home. I think he was like early college. <sighs> Scared the pee waddling out of me. Anyway, I like, I like hyperventilated. I was like so upset. So I'm not a fan of squirrels, but we don't have near as many trees in the backyard as we used to because in this area, I think they're called water oaks and they live about 40 years and that's about how old this neighborhood is. And so a few years back, we just, We've had to have a lot of them taken down because it's hurricane season, they'll fall on your house. And so we've had a lot of them taken down. So we don't have as many squirrels because we don't have many trees in our backyard, which is okay with me. <laughs> anyway, this one's Plum Street and I don't remember the name of it. This is one I finished last year that I haven't fully finished. This is a, um, I'm pretty sure this is a Brenda Gervais. And along with my um, Hobby Lobby uh, box that I got, where I got the Casting a Spell box, I also ordered one of these. I was kind of curious as to what, it, it wasn't $3.99, it was cheaper than that because it was had a sale on it or something. It's metal, but I was curious to see what size it would actually be. And so I think it'll work to fit in here. Or to fit this in here. Circle ones are kind of, I think, kind of tricky to do. Um, so I'll need to f to make sure that it sits down in here without getting lost. So that'll take some finishing math. Um, this is one a friend made me. I get it out every year and I just love it. Um, I think it's JBW Designs. I'm not totally sure really cute. She gave it to me one year for my birthday. This is another one that was a gift. Um, this was at the first Midwest cross-stitch retreat, and this was made by Lisa Real, R-I-E-H-L. And it's, uh, it looks like it's on about 46 or 50 something count, maybe 46. It's definitely higher than 40. It's gorgeous in the little box. I love it. Thank you, Lisa. So I would have gotten this in about 2018, 2017. I don't know, somewhere around in there. It was part of the gift exchange because Midwest, um, which is run by Michelle Rudy, and this year again is in Amana. So the 2019 was in Amana, 2020 was canceled. This year is 2021 and it'll be in Amana again. And so if you take a gift, you get to get a gift. So anyway, since people always ask about, this is by Margaret and Margaret and it's called Sarah Turner. I did this a few years back. Margaret and Margaret, and I think you can still get it. I know she occasionally watches my videos because she'll comment occasionally. Um, there's a couple other smalls up there. I'll show you those next time. Um, that's all the cross stitch I have. So if you're just here for the cross stitch, thanks for stopping by. And now I'm going to show you a couple quilting things that I have done. Um, let me show you applique first. So this is the quilt I'm making by Blackbird. And I'm down to where I have just, I don't know, there's about 10 stars to hand applique on here. Some of them are black. And 
some of them are orange. All different backgrounds, very scrappy. And then I have to do, um, there's a couple here that are like a big pumpkin with a star on it, so I haven't done those yet. I haven't pieced. I think I've pieced one block. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll finish one block and then piece it and see if all my math. I've done all the half square triangles. So once I get the all the stars and there's a couple pumpkins, like I said, pumpkins, I have to do those yet. One, two, three pumpkins. And then I'll start putting those blocks together and then putting the rows together. So getting close on that one. And I've been working on that for about four years, so it's really time to get it done. So I'm applicating those stars. And then I showed you this when I did the Blackbird um, just before Barb did, died, I did a Barb or a Blackbird Designs quilt along, kind of run through of all the books. This book is called um, Fresh Picked. And this is the one I'm working on. I've finished this block, applicating it, and I'm working on this one. Here's a better picture of it. Sometimes it helps to have a close-up color picture. Those are my templates. Sometimes I use freezer paper, and sometimes I use plastic templates. And I will eventually do an applique uh, video um, tutorial. I just haven't done it yet. But sometimes if I have multiples of the same, so in other words, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the same leaf there and the same leaf here, there's eight of them, and four flowers, you know, sometimes I'll go ahead and do a plastic template. Then I can draw it on multiple times without having to trace and cut out each one of the freezer paper. But if there's only like one basket, like the middle of this block had one basket, well, I'm not going to... If I don't have multiples, I'm not going to do a plastic template. I'll just do a freezer paper template. And this is where I am on that. So I've got the positioning of the flowers and all the vines, with the exception of these vines that go here, are finished. A lot of this um, is from, what line is it from? Cinnamon Spice, maybe? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I've been working on that applique. And then I also, with the, okay, I've been working on this applique, and this is another multiple year project. This is called Heaven and Earth Block of the Month by Paula Barnes. Paula Barnes, they used to be Bonnie Blue, and now they're, um... I've changed their name, and I can't remember. I'm sorry, Paula. It used to be Bonnie Blue. I was going to say something crimson, but I don't remember. Anyway, so when she originally did the sample for this, she put her last name... She put her initials and her husband's initials, and then she put the year they were married. Well, Wood Church is too long to fit in there, so what I've decided, since you have an angel with a flag, I'm either going to put America or Liberty. I'm going to put Established 1776, and then I will put my own initials maybe in here, and then the year I did it, I think. So I have all of this finished with the exception of those letters. So I still need to do those letters. And then there is a border that goes on it with a flag and then there's more on the other side of the border. I'm not sure, maybe she didn't have the border done at the time she took this picture because this is just the inside. And then there's the border. I'm gonna have my husband insert some pictures because it's really hard to see this. I did do it on black. So here's the top. Oops. 
It has some pieced blocks and some applique blocks. There's the middle with the angel. Keep going, Carol. Oops. I did change a couple of the colors. It was originally a kit, a monthly block of the month that I got. Some of it looks more vibrant on camera than it really is. I'm going this way. Piece block, applique, big pot of flowers, but you get the idea. And he will take a picture of that. And then I have three quilts that I finished. This one again, I'll have to take a picture of it. This, this is huge. I'll show you a picture of it from the book it's in. This is called Homefront. This is an older book by Red Wagon. Might still be available, I don't know. Red Wagon. Red Wagon was, um, well, this particular one was by um, Jerry K Kimmel Carr. But there's, um, there's some other Red Wagon that have three designers. Here's two different versions of it. Here's like a darker version and then a lighter version. It's a log cabin quilt and it has these three flags. I had been wanting to do it forever and then I kind of forgot about it. And then Basket Nut, Tammy, she had it hanging and I was like, oh, I forgot about that quilt. So I pulled all the fabrics. I've been working on this a lot. Probably some last fall. Anyway, here's a little bit of an idea because it's really large. I think I showed pictures before it was quilted. It has the three flags with all the log cabins. And on the back, I just put a tan, but then I had a lot of extra pieces that I cut for the log cabin. So I just put some blue strips, oops in the middle to make the back bigger because it's pretty big. It's in like 80 by 90 or something like that. It's It could fit on a queen, but it wouldn't go over very far. And then I finished this one and was able to quilt this one, but I don't have the binding sewn down on this one yet. This is a Mannequin Simpson pattern and fabric. It has the big patched work pieces. I thought I saw something. But there again, I'll have him take pictures. But it's a pretty vibrant red. But I love it. So I'll have him, cause it's, it's nine patches. It's a nine patch of nine patches. Let's see if I can show it to you better. People that do cross stitch and now are starting to quilt and they're like, it's hard to show these. Ah, I know. So it's set on point. And it's a nine patch of nine patches. Maybe you can see that a little better there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's made into stars with the corners. So I finished that one. I just have to do the, um, hand stitch the binding down. That one also has a piece to block or piece to back. And this was a country sampler kit I did change a couple of the fabrics. I wasn't, they sent a floral to go here and I wasn't crazy about that. This is like an Ohio star. And then it's not huge, but it's, um, it's also like a nine patch. So you've got the Ohio star blocks, a nine patch of Ohio star blocks, the stripes, and then 
they might still have kits of this. It's something for Betsy, flags for Betsy or something like that. So that one is done. And then, again, basket, not Tammy. I think I didn't, I think I just bought the pattern for this. I got it from Country Sampler. It's called Corn Maze. I think she has hers already pieced together. I can't believe that. So yesterday I spent time because I took a day off from quilting, starting to put, and I've got everything cut out and all the pieces. Basically it's golds, grays, and black, golds and browns, grays, and blacks, corn maze. I got this pattern last year, but you put all these together. Obviously I wouldn't put these next to each other because they're the exact same thing. But anyway, you put all those together and this will be 57 by 57. So that's a nice size, but I think most of the fabrics are from my stash. So that is all I have. So hopefully y'all are doing well and enjoying your summer. I did already draw for that, um, blackbird pattern giveaway and um it was already one and i'm carrie i it's all packed ready to go to the post office so it'll be on its way to you soon carrie i don't know how to pronounce her last name p-r-o-u-l-x anyway carrie <laughs> it's going to be winging its way to you very soon and then I have to tell you a Camille-ism. Camille is my granddaughter. All last weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sun well, part of Sunday, um, we had the grandkids because it was the last weekend before um, school actually starts this coming week. But Lindsay had to be, as a teacher, she had to be back this past week. And so they had um, childcare for the kids, the kids of the teachers. And so basically it was the last full weekend that they could spend with Grammy and Papa. So on Sunday morning, and we were gonna go to church and then meet Lindsay there and then um, give her her kids back. <laughs> here, here they are. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was in the bathroom and I was putting my makeup on and Camille, who's six, you know, she has to come in and watch me and you know, all of this. I think she'd love to have makeup just as much. In fact, she does. She loves makeup because she loves Halloween and she loves dance because she gets to wear makeup. <laughs> So anyway, she says, Grammy, I had this shirt on. She says, Grammy, you have your shirt on backwards. I said, no, I didn't. No, I don't. Well, this particular shirt has buttons down the back. She says, you have your shirt on backwards. I said, no, I don't. I said, see, here's the tag. And I showed her the tag. I said, I have it on front ways. She said, well, it has buttons in the back. I said, yeah, I know. I don't like buttons on the back. <laughs> I said, why? She goes, I just don't like buttons on the back. Like, okay, because it buttons all the way down. And people say, well, how do you get it on? Well, you just unbutton one and then slip it over. I don't like buttons on the back. <laughs> She's a hoot. She comes up with the wildest stuff. We used to call them Camille-isms because she would come up with stuff and you'd be like, okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a good Saturday. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you get a lot of stitching in, quilting, piecing, knitting whatever you like to do for your hobby, or maybe you're like Pam and you're out playing golf. I'll see you soon, Pam. Anyway, um, have a good day. Love ya.